on the tenth day of our trip, we leave Banrati and drive to Adair, following the red line. Adair is designated as a heritage town by the Irish government. But in reality, it is not as beautiful as described. There is an enormous lot of traffic. And no beautiful old town as well. Therefore, we leave it ASAP. On our driving route to Dingle, we made a short stop at Blenderville Windmill. This site will remember all life long, because here we had the worst coffee in our life. No coffee. I said no coffee. Every day she had coffee. It's in Austria, also certified. This windmill is the tallest of its kind in Europe at 21.3 meters high. This building has now an age of 200 years. After a long ride through a lot of pouring rain, we reached Dingle in the late afternoon. In this town, there is a heavy overrun with tourist crowds. It's really difficult to find some parking space. Caused by the quantity of cars on the street, we postpone our round trip around the Dingle Island and decide to visit first the town. You can find here an enormous lot of pubs and shops for tourists. To our joy, the weather clears and we start our sightseeing trip around the island. At this late time, the streets are almost empty and there is no traffic jam.
at this beautiful beach we get in touch with the cold Atlantic Ocean for the first time and the last time. The city of Dingle is very well known for its pubs. Almost everywhere you can enjoy live music. But most of the pubs are overflow or the music is not according to our taste. Today we have only a very short trip in front of us, 120 kilometers. Therefore we didn't choose the main road, but a very small beside road. It is very funny to watch the sheep dog and his sheep herd. After we arrived at Killarney, we visited Ross Castle at first. But as this castle is not very interesting, we take a round trip around the adjacent lake. This boat trip is really relaxing. After the boat trip, 
we visit Macro Castle. In 1932, it was presented to the Irish nation. And it became the first national park in Irish state. Extensive improvements were undertaken in the 1850s in preparation for the visit of Queen Victoria. This waterfall is located in the middle of the Killarney National Park. Here you can find a lot of beautiful nature trees, but today we skipped all of them. Tonight we go to the Quinlands, our favorite restaurant here. Here one can find very good seafood at reasonable prices. Thank you.